Hey everyone, this is Stacy from My Petite Garden. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be sharing with you everything related to my plant shelves setup, including the types of shelves that I use, the lighting, and also I'll mention the plant stands that I like to use to display my plants. And before we get started, please remember to subscribe if you enjoy my content. I really appreciate it. Now let's get into the video. In my living room, I have this yellow cabinet that I also use as a plant shelf. I also use this cabinet mainly to store plant-related items like extra glow lights, plant stands, some pots, and other accessories. And then on top of this cabinet, I display some of my plants, and I also have one grow light since this part of the house doesn't really get that much sunlight. The lamp that I use for the grow light is actually just the regular desk lamp that I put a grow light bulb in so that it doesn't look so obvious that it's a grow light. Next to that, by my sliding doors, I have a plant stand from Ikea that I use to display two of my larger plants on the top level. And then in the bottom level, I have some books and terracotta pots. Here in my dining room by my bay windows, I have my large IKEA Vitzchel shelf in white. I have been using the IKEA Vitzchel line of shelves for my plants for many years now. I love the clean, minimal design and that the shelving is glass, which means that light can filter through from one level to the other, which I find very useful and helpful when you use these shelves for plants. Now let's talk about the grow lights that I like to use on these shelves. And this is actually something I get asked about quite often. For those that have been following me for a while or who have watched my first plant shelves video from way back, you'll know that I like to use these flat panel grow lights. And I still use the same ones to this day, so I am very happy to be partnering with Domia, who are the sellers of these grow lights. So thank you Domia for sponsoring this portion of the video. I will have the products linked below and also provide a discount code in the description for those that are interested. When it comes to lighting for these shelves, I didn't want to use the typical bulky looking grow lights. And to be very honest, I personally do not really like the look of most grow lights. So these super thin panel grow lights were perfect because they pretty much disappear under the shelves. You can really see how incredibly thin these lights are and don't be fooled by that because they do pack enough light to keep all of my plants on my plant shelves very happy. Another thing that I love about these is that there are multiple ways you can arrange them depending on how you want them on your shelves or how your shelf is shaped. I've personally arranged them in multiple different ways on my shelves, which you will see in later clips. Although the lights do come with a kit that has everything you need to hang them or attach them to your shelves, I personally prefer to use 3M Velcro tapes to attach them to my shelves, just for ease of removal, and I have found that they attach really well with these Velcro tapes, and I've never had any issues with them, so that is just something I've personally used for since I started using these lights, but um, if you do try these lights out, you can either choose to use their, their kit or you can get your own form of attachment. Next, I'll show you guys how I have my lights set up on the shelves. 
Here I have it arranged in a square so the light is mostly concentrated in one small area. Then here I have it spread across so that the light spans a wider area across my shelf. You'll also see that I have one where I put on opposite ends of the shelf. This one I added later on because I wanted the corners to have more light, but at the same time I didn't want to have to rearrange the light that I already had in the middle. So what I was able to do was just arrange it so that they are attached to the opposite ends of the corners of the shelves. To keep the wires nice and tidy, I just used zip ties to secure them to the shelves. These lights emit a warm sun-like color, so it's actually very pleasant to look at. I sometimes don't even need to turn on my actual lights because these grow lights light up the space so nicely and gives it such a nice cozy vibe. And as you can see, the lights pretty much blend into the shelves once it's set up and that's really one of the main reasons I like using these so much. Here is my other IKEA Vitzschel shelf. This one is the smaller version. On this shelf, on the top level, I use an IKEA lamp with a Domia grow light bulb. And then on the lower levels, I use the same Domia flat panel grow lights. I wanted to show you guys the bulb that I use because this particular bulb also has a timer in itself. So you can set the timer directly on the bulb if you wish. I wanted to use a lamp on the top section of this shelf because I wanted to add a little more interest to this area and also because this lamp can swivel so I can move it around if I wanted to let's say give my large pothos on the top a little more light. Moving on to the plant shelf in my bedroom, this is a wall shelf unit and this area of my bedroom does not get much light at all even though it's right next to a window, so I do use the same flat panel lights on this shelf as well. I want to also talk about the plant stands that I use for displaying my plants on the shelves. I use a whole bunch of different types, but the ones you guys see a lot and that I guess I get asked a lot about are these wooden ones that I got from Target a long time ago. 
Target no longer carries these, but there are similar ones that I have found on Amazon, so I'll have those linked in my Amazon store for you. I also like to use these metal candle holders as plant stands. They come in a set of different heights, so it's great for displaying plants. These are very slim, so they can fit into tight spaces, which makes them great for those of us who probably have one too many plants on our plant shelves. And I actually use a lot of candle holders as plant stands, so you just kind of have to get creative when it comes to how you want to display your plants on your shelves. That will be it for this video. I hope you guys found this useful. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!